What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dylan. In today's video, we are talking about the top cars, the best cars to use to drive for Uber and for Lyft. Sitting outside waiting for my friend. She is in the doctor and um, I got some time to kill and I've ha been preparing for this video. So we're going to talk about it right now. What are the best cars to drive for Uber and for Lyft? Now, before I get started, I wanted to tell you all about a new company called Ivy Card. Ivy Card is helping give Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, gig workers cash advances. So if you're ever behind on, and they're, they're a company just for gig workers, okay? They, that's their specialty. And right now, if you sign up, you will lock in free lifetime cash advances. So if you're ever behind on your bills or you need some extra cash just to get you by, uh, Ivy Card's gonna give you a cash advance. And the, the good thing about a cash advance is that you don't have to pay these overdraft fees. Like if you go negative on your bank, uh, usually, I mean, my bank, Bank of America, I get hit with like a $35, $40 fee and it sucks, it really does. So check out Ivy Card down below, type in your email and uh, at least, you know, lock in that free lifetime cash advance because you never know when you might need it. And you know, there's no shame in getting a cash advance. You know, everybody needs help. Um, we're all on our different journeys in life. Okay, so let's talk about the best cars to drive for Uber and Lyft. Um, I'm also, I'm not just gonna name off name, like specific names of cars, but I will. I'm not just going to do that though. I'm also gonna talk about um, a few other tips for picking rideshare cars. Number one, I'm gonna urge you strongly, <laughs> do not use or buy, do not buy, definitely do not buy, uh, or do not use a new car to drive for Uber and Lyft. You do not want to be putting on miles on a new car that hasn't yet depreciated because depreciation is one of the largest expenses of being a rideshare driver. Why, you might ask. But Dylan, that I don't see that money coming out of my account. I'm just going to refinance my loan into a new car when I get, when I trade this one in. It's not good because you don't want to have a car payment, first of all. I mean, unless you're like, unless you have the cash to buy the car. Anyways, you do, you usually you don't want to have a car payment. If you do have a car payment, it's probably because you're using that money to invest elsewhere or I don't know, you're using a tax write-off or something like that. But you don't want to use a new car because, again, let's say you buy a car and it costs you 30 grand, 40 grand. You go drive for Uber and put on 50,000 miles in the car and you made $20,000 doing so, but your car your car went down in value 20,000 bucks. You netted zero dollars. <laughs> Not only that, you're probably negative because of all the gas you put on your car and you still got to pay for wear and tear in your car eventually, right? Anyways. That's my rant about why you should not use a new car to drive for Uber and Lyft. What you want to do is find a used car. What I did, I found a car, 2011 Ford, 100,000 miles on it. Got it for five grand. I have 160,000 miles on it now. No major issues. The most I've ever repaired on it was maybe 400 bucks in a year. It's not very expensive. I've had to replace two tires. It's because I bought the car and it had bald tires already. So I already kind of like anticipated that cost. And a couple other things broke. Anyways, what you want to do, I'm going to give you some tips. You want, you're going to buy your car from CarMax or Facebook Marketplace, honestly, is the best. But if you know zero thing about car, it might be a little bit more difficult. If you know ish about cars, and I would say I know ish about cars, I don't fix anything in my cars. I don't know much about it, but like, what you want to do is go on Facebook Marketplace, go on your local Facebook group, find somebody who's selling a car and one, it needs to meet these criteria. okay? It needs to be a mainstream car, Toyota, Honda, Hyundai, Ford, Chevrolet. Um, Kia is probably a fine as well. Um, do not buy a BMW. Do not buy a Saturn. Do not buy a Mercedes. Don't buy a Pontiac. I don't know. Don't buy cars that are like 
so random that their, their parts are hard to find. Because when you have a Toyota or a Honda, you know, a Honda Civic, Toyota Camry, like these cars, their parts are very common. So most places they have their parts. They're really cheap to maintain. You wanna find cars that are cheap to maintain. You don't wanna get a fancy car. Don't go buy a Jeep. <laughs> Please, do, for the love of God, don't buy a Jeep to do right here. Buy a Toyota Camry, a Ford Fusion. These cars are the perfect cars because they're easy to maintain. What you wanna do is you wanna go into Facebook Marketplace or probably not Craigslist, but you can go on Craigslist or you know one of these auto trader or whatever. But the reason I like Facebook Marketplace is because you can see the profile of the person selling the vehicle and you can look and see if they're a trustworthy person and you can message them beforehand and you want to message them and say, hey, look, I'm interested in buying your car. Um, I'd love to come take a look at it. And when you do that, say, do you mind if I take this car to a mechanic and, you know, have him look over it real briefly? And anybody who's selling the car trustworthily they're not trying to scam you will have no problem of going to a mechanic with you and having a mechanic look at it and say you know what yeah car looks good you know got a couple things wrong with it here's you know estimate to fix it but you know it should be good to go for a while that's what you want to do and with that method my friends you will save thousands of dollars you will you won't have to pay a dealership price with they overcharge you like crazy because they need to make a profit and go on Facebook start looking for cars that are five thousand eight thousand dollars and you can go to the bank guys a lot of people don't know this you can go to a bank this is what i did i went to a bank and i financed my five thousand dollar private party car banks will do that all you need is the vin number um and say it's a private party and they will finance it for you as long as the car meets the kelly blue book value and it's a good deal the bank will finance it for you, you do not need to go to a dealership to buy a car and it's, you probably shouldn't be going to a dealership because you're gonna not get a good deal. <laughs> Most of the time, you're gonna end up paying way overpriced for a car that you could have paid $5,000, $8,000 for. And usually what you wanna do is use leverage. I'm giving you all my, all my tips on buying cars. You wanna use something called leverage. What is leverage? Well, it's meaning that you have something that they don't have and your leverage is time. The worst thing you wanna do is go to a dealership and say, hey, I need a car today. That means you're desperate. You're gonna willing to pay any price, you know what I mean? But if you say, oh no, I got, I got time, I got a few weeks, you know, I got a month, they're gonna start say, oh, you know, buy today, we're lower the price for you. That's called leverage, right? You don't, you don't want them to have leverage, you want to have the leverage. So when you go to Facebook Marketplace, start lowballing people. Somebody lists a car for seven grand. You look it up on Kelly Blue Book value. It's seven grand. Say, hey, you know what? I love your car, but I only have $5,000. They're going to say, sorry, that's too low. Week goes by. They say, hey, would you take six grand? And you say, you know what? I like you, so I'll offer fifty-two fifty. Go low. <laughs> and they're going to be like, you know, somebody's going to say, all right, sure. So go under the value get a good deal because usually those people they need to sell it quick they need they need that money and you don't need you don't need a car today you can wait a few weeks right that's your leverage you'll save a few thousand dollars doing so anyways those are <laughs> that's my rant and just general tips on buying cars for rideshare i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know your thoughts what do you think is the best car for rideshare you guys are awesome i'll talk to you soon and check out the link below for ivy card if you, if you ever need a cash advance as a gig worker, bye now.